All right, let's get ready for the latest episode of this slog. Oh, this episode isn't garbage? Oh, it's actually a decent one? Oh, but you're still saying I should drink this. All right, I'll take it. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 8 of Supernatural Season 14. This episode, despite the fact that the shit was predictable, actually wasn't terrible. So the episode starts off with Jack dying within the first two minutes. Now that's an interesting pull, but when you kill off a character like this so early, you know he's coming back. It is supernatural. This shit's so goddamn predictable now. And the first 20 minutes of this episode is corny. Sam goes out and chops down two trees and then breaks the axe. I was fucking laughing when that happened. And I was also laughing at the cleanest drinking party I've ever seen. Also, Castiel drank a liquor store, if anyone remembers that. So him drinking a couple glasses of this would be nothing to him. But that's besides the point. It's what happens after that first initial 15 minutes of stupid. Jack goes up to heaven and he meets his mother and that was actually very good. Everything about that initial meeting was well written, well acted, and the music was even pretty good. Admittedly, it was playing along every controversy that is of a stereotype scene of that sort of nature, albeit the whole idea of meeting your, friend, your mother in heaven. Just how it all came together, it was good. A little corny, yeah, but actually not bad. And then the fact that the empty, the creature or whatever the entity that is the empty, came up into heaven because he wanted Jack. That was kind of cool too. Then when the empty took over this other angel, the girl who was acting as her was pretty cool. I liked that idea. However, the deal she makes with Castiel is a little bit pointless. Castiel says, Take me instead. Take me in Jack's place. Okay, I will. But I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to wait until there's a plot convenient moment in which I'll do it to you. I, I don't get it. You've never apparently come out of the empty, and you took over all of heaven in a matter of minutes, but you're going to wait. You're going to put yourself back in this empty just to wait for Castiel to come around. You know what would have been a cool idea instead of reusing the Lucifer bullshit is having the Empty as the villain of this season. Imagine that, the whole world being consumed by an empty entity, everything falling into this emptiness. Maybe I just gave Andrew Dabb a good idea. The guy can't think of one to save his fucking life, so. Meanwhile, back on Earth, Dean and Sam are working with the older version of the Eye Patch Lady, the one whose daughter was killed by angels. This was a long time ago. This was, I think, either season 12. I think this was season 12. And this actually was a cool character. Look, it might be season 13. I, I'm not entirely sure. But I actually liked her episode, even though it was a filler episode, because the moral ambiguity of that episode was pretty good, up until it turned out that angels were dicks and then it kind of just lost all of its originality. So she basically came up with a plot convenience to bring Jack back. Again, told you this shit was going to happen. And she sacrifices herself basically so that Jack can come back and her scale is weighed by Anubis. Which, I like the idea of the scale being the math device. I thought that was kind of cool. The effect with that was pretty interesting. But again, for those of you who thought that this whole episode was emotional, it wasn't. The only thing that was at all interesting was the aspect I wasn't predicting, which was him talking to his mother. That was the only part that was actually emotional and actually kind of interesting in terms of a part with Jack. Because otherwise all this shit was predictable. And when you can predict exactly what's going to happen and death means nothing, it's not emotionally effective. But again, as an episode that's constructed well in terms of its somewhat narrative and that interaction with his mother as well as the empty being a pretty cool presence in this episode i didn't mind it i actually think this is one of the better episodes of the season it's leading up to a goddamn fucking lackluster mid-season finale i can tell you that but 
I'll give this that. It wasn't fucking awful. You can give yourself a gold star, Andrew Dab, you dumb fuck. Anyways, I'm gonna give this episode a 4 out of 7. This was actually one of the better episodes of the season. It's not saying much because the season's been boring and predictable, but you know what? I didn't mind it. Anyways guys, if you liked this video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. See you next time.